how do nurse practitioners and PAs fare with RN salaries these days? Hey everybody, I'm John with Contract Diagnostics and we've heard a lot about growing wages over the past few years. I just did a video on a signing bonus or a retention bonus program for RNs that was $100,000 paid over three years. So the question becomes, how are, what's, this, what's the delta? What's the difference between nurse practitioners, PAs, and RNs? We've had a lot of discussion internally lately on the difference between anesthesiologists and CRNAs. CRNAs have, made, have bridged the gap quite a bit over the years, and they make quite a bit of money these days. A starting CRNA role does. So there's an article here that I thought was interesting I wanted to share with everybody, and it goes through nurses, registered nurses, nurse practitioners, and physician assistants. It has the average or the mean annual salary of 90,000 for registered nurses, nurse practitioners at 125, and PAs around 125 as well. That, that lays out into an hourly rate of 42, 60, and $60 per each of them. Uh, it, it does bode the question, what's negotiable? Uh, I would assume we don't look at RN contracts, but if they're receiving $100,000 signing bonuses, we may soon look at those contracts. But I would assume RNs are paid similarly across the board, and maybe there's some pay for extra tenure. Nurse practitioners and physician assistants used to be the same, but now they're getting contracts. They're getting employment contracts, just like their physician counterparts. And we feel that they have negotiating capital in those. We've had many nurse practitioners or PAs use our negotiation package to help define the terms of the deal and help get a better overall contract for them regarding compensation and, of course, understanding all the benefits that they have that they have uh, that listed. But the one other thing I wanted to point out in this article: um, the average annual salary in the lowest paid state, sixty-five thousand for the nurses, um, a hundred thousand for a PAs, and seventy thousand for the nurse practitioner. So a big delta. The interesting thing is the RN's lowest salary state was South Dakota, which is one of the highest paid salary states for physicians. When it comes to the highest paying states, California leads for RN's at $133,000. It also leads for PAs, uh, for, uh, for nurse practitioners, uh, not, not as much, but for PAs, $158,000. Now, again, we just talked about that article from California where the $100,000 signing bonuses was paid for those RNs. And so that maybe helps flush, flush up that, uh, that differential. But at the end of the day, do RNs have negotiating capital? I don't know. But one thing I do know is that PAs do, nurse practitioners do, and I definitely know that physicians do. So if you're in the contract discussion with any employer or contracting agency, if you're re-signing or if your employer is offering you an amendment, reach out to us at contractdiagnostics.com. This is all we do. Discuss compensation structures and provide detailed guides back to you on how you could increase it, the questions you should ask as you do due diligence, and everything else related to the contracting process. I'm John at Contract Diagnostics, and thanks for tuning in.